The first teaser trailer for Minecraft dropped, which was surprising to me. I knew this film was being worked on. I didn't realize it was so far to completion. Naturally, when you think of a colorful, vibrant world, very large scale, with a lot of green screen, a lot of animation, you turn to the director of Napoleon Dynamite. That's, that's who's directing this. There's three writers attached as well. Rob McKelleny from Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Mac, is one of them, which is also kind of surprising. This film's already full of surprises, and I'm sure there's more to come with Easter eggs and all sorts of references to the game. I watched the teaser. I actually had my kids watch as well because they're big fans, especially my son Connor. And so you get a front row seat to their reactions along with my take on this thing. Before I give you my take, if you wouldn't mind crafting a pickaxe and mining that subscribe button, I would appreciate it. These are Minecraft references. I know what's happening. And I might know more than the people that made this film because the choice to make it live action characters interacting with a CG world w was a choice, to be sure. Uh, I can't say it looks great. And my first impressions were that of utter bewilderment. When this thing fired up, I saw it first on the artist formerly known as Twitter X, and it revealed the world with the humans walking out, I thought, this is parody. There's no way this is like a real Minecraft movie. This is something a fan made. It's, it is real. This is the route they went. And they picked actors that would wisely appeal to a broad demographic of people. You have Emma Myers, who's big with the kids. She was in Wednesday, that Netflix show. You have Jason Momoa, who's big with the middle-aged soccer moms. Jennifer Coolidge, who's... People like her. I, I don't know what's happening with Jennifer Coolidge. She's in it, I guess. And then you have Steve, the iconic character from Minecraft, played, of course, by Jack Black. I mean, I'm wearing a blue shirt. I could have been Steve at this point. We're just picking any random person off the streets to play the character. I mean, to be fair, Jack Black obviously reaches a huge demographic, you know, spanning from School of Rock, Tenacious D, to more modern films like Mario playing Bowser. So yeah, he has lasting appeal, and he's going to bring in a lot of people just because he's in it. All that aside, could he not have done a voice? Maybe as my daughter suggested, the Ender Dragon? That might have been a perfect fit for Jack Black. Although then he's almost being typecast at that point. Oh, uh, Jack Black should have been the Ender Dragon. Oh, okay. <laughs> The voice, you mean? Yeah. Well, Not like a guy no, no, with like wings. The yeah. With wings and, yeah. And speaking of Steve being played by anyone, my son Connor said, "What was Dwayne the Rock Johnson busy that week? They couldn't have him play the role." Dwayne would have been better though. <laughs> That's what Steve. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Casting aside, the look of this film is fantastic. On the, on the animation front, on the CG look. They took the graphics from the game, obviously they amplified them. Kind of like what the Super Mario Brothers movie did. There are tweaks, obviously, to the character designs. It's fitting more with the mold of the film. But man, it looks beautiful. It's just so sad that it's ruined by this terrible green screen of four or five actors walking around. They don't look like they're there at all. And obviously they're not. It's just all very flat looking. The lighting's not really matching the scenario around them. They're not interacting with any of the characters or the objects. So it's just a very lifeless presentation. And I know it's a teaser. I'm sure the final full version of the trailer will have a lot more interaction and it will be a bit more immersive with these characters in their environments. But first impression is everything and I'm not getting much out of this. It's, it's a very trepiditious well, okay this is a this is a weird decision to go with the who framed roger rabbit minecraft approach but we'll see if it shakes out that that's not fair this is more of a, a space jam 2 approach well casting's trash i like how jack black's in it but that's yeah. it at the end of the day though, the studio's all about bringing in the biggest pull they can. And so to them, I suppose, having real actors interact with this world makes sense. But at the same time, does it? The Super Mario Brothers movie killed at the box office. I'm pretty sure it generated over a billion dollars. Minecraft is one of the top played games for like a decade. It's always top of the charts in sales. 
people play this game, they love this game, so you didn't need to throw in Jack Black or Jason Momoa to bring kids and families into the theaters. Give us a cartoon Steve that can become just as iconic as the video game counterpart. Making the humor so childish and silly, I, I get it, it's an all ages sort of a game, but that doesn't mean you have to make the fart jokes and all the lame crap. And to be fair, I didn't see a fart joke in here, but I can guarantee you there's one in the final cut of the film. It just reeks of a film like that. I did see a couple of creepers, which I appreciate. No Enderman to be seen yet. I'm sure they're saving that for the full trailer later, but uh, first impressions, not great, not awful, but yeah, um, th there, was set, there was a much easier approach. A smarter approach I think they could have taken that would have appealed to even more people and not turned off some of the fans had they just made this a true animated film. I gave you my thoughts, so I want to hear from you, though. What are you thinking? Are you a big Minecraft fan? Did this pull you in? Did this hit all the right notes for you? Leave it in the comment. And again, I would encourage you to grab a shovel and just dig for that subscribe button. I post movie content every single week here. Would love to have you stick around. If you love what I'm doing, I have a second channel, Adam Does Rants, where I complain about first world problems in a comedic fashion, hoping to just bring you a smile or two. And if you super duper love what I'm doing, maybe think about supporting this one man band and be become a patron at patreon.com slash adam does movies and hopefully i see you next time take care minecraft i'm steve not the best pick yeah i'm surprised they didn't have Dwayne in there yeah the rock yeah what do you think of the look of the like the world though the minecraft world it's better i yeah. mean Looks the cool. graphics are way better mm -hmm. should have been more like the lego movie where it was just all animated yeah. yeah. So you excited for the movie now or less excited for the movie? It depends. Yeah. Looks interesting. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. Bad. I don't know. Yeah, that's what we thought. So you want to see the movie? No. Um, I don't know. Maybe a little like more trailers come out. Yeah, that's just a teaser. So. Yeah.